Hey guys, this is Steve at the Money Lodge. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about making money, managing money, and investing. Hey, in today's video, what I wanted to show you was um, one of the uh, investments that I do is in closed-in funds. Now, these are um, funds, they work a little different than an exchange-traded fund. And what I wanted to do, I actually uh, was talking about high-yield dividend stocks that were paying like $700 monthly. Quite a few of those were closed-in funds. So what I wanted to teach you today was basically just how do I find those closed-in funds? How do I find funds that are you know paying out over 10% that um, are, are decent as far as, you know, uh, discounts um, to premium net asset value uh, to the price that it's currently selling at. There's a lot of variables that I look at. So um, it's not very complicated. So I just wanted to kind of take you to the website that I use when I'm picking these closed in funds and kind of what I'm looking at. So let's go to the website. Um, right now I'm on the Money Lodge. Actually, the article was this high yield dividend stocks paying $700 monthly. And I have a spreadsheet on there breaking out some of those. And they were, um, a few of them were closed in funds. So I'm going to take you to the website now on where I find those and how I screen them. Okay, so when I get to this um, website, you'll see that it's talking about the source for CEF investors. And this stands for closed in funds. And it says CEF Connect provides unbiased, straightforward, and comprehensive closed-in fund information. So if you look up here at this menu right here, it's saying daily pricing, fund screener, portfolios, alerts, education center. And normally I'll just go right here up here at the top and just search for a specific CEF. But if I want to screen like multiple um, closed-in funds and a few hundred of them at a time, I can do that easily by just going to this fund screener. So if I click on fund screener, you'll see it's kind of running right now. And it says, welcome to CEF Connect Enhanced Fund Screener. And I just hit next. And then I'll hit next. And I'll just um, close this out. Okay, so when you get to this, what I normally run is just a standard criteria of all funds. So I click on that and then it says, are you sure you want to reset your fund screener choices and load preset? Now, again, this is completely free to use. I'm not signed in, nothing. This is just free. I'm showing you how to do this. So you hit OK. And then you'll see it drops down all of these um, different closed end funds. So if you kind of go down here, you'll see what it includes, which is pretty cool. It's, it shows the tickers. So this acts just like a stock. So basically, if you just entered AWF, um, you know, and you could just buy this, you could buy this fund. And um, I'm going to take you through in a little more detail of how to look at the fund. But right now, I just want to show you how to use this screener. So market capitalization, it works just like the market cap on any stock that's on the stock exchange. Um, closed in funds are a little different because again, they're closed. They're not, there's no inflows and outflows. It's basically like they have an IPO, they raise money, and then that's it. They use that money, they leverage it, and they generate income. So um, you basically are collecting a nice high interest rate or either monthly distribution, quarterly distribution um, in the form of dividends every either monthly or quarterly whatever you want to pick. Now, I like the monthly, but um, not necessarily saying that I wouldn't uh, pick up a quarterly, but you're only getting paid quarterly, and I like those dividends coming in monthly. So what it, it shows here is the distribution rate. So it'll show like what you're the yield, what you're getting paid either quarterly or monthly. And this distribution um rate is basically an annual distribution rate. And then it'll show the frequency of the distribution, how often you get paid. And then it's showing the discount or premium. Now what this is, it's pretty simple. It's basically like each closed in fund, you know, has a certain amount of assets in it. They might be bonds, 
they might be equities, they might be convertibles, whatever those investments are within that closed in fund, it has a net asset value. Think about all the assets, what are they valued at? And so that's the NAV, it's called the NAV, N-A-V, um, net asset value. And I'll show you that in a minute uh, when I dig into a specific one. But right now, again, I'm just kind of showing you the screener and how to screen these out. But what this is, like if it's negative, that means the price is below the net asset value. Now, sometimes this runs historically below. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good deal, but it just means that you're actually getting it for a price below um, NAV or below net what the total net assets are worth. So if I wanted to go off, um, let's just say market capitalization, I wanted to look at, um, again, the largest market cap funds. Um, I could just click on this once, click on it twice. And now you see at the very top here, these are all the largest funds. This is, um, you know, like PDI. This is one that I uh, invest in um, and I have, you know, purchased. It's a monthly, see if you look over here, it's a monthly distribution. Right now it's yielding about 12.5%. And you can see the discount or premium to NAV. It's running a little bit over at a premium. Now PDI, this is a good one that I like. And um, you can see portfolio characteristics on it. Um, basically, it's uh, pretty much, uh, this one's uh, bonds. So you can see the different ratings of the bonds. And um, you can kind of see their top holdings. And this one on the overview, it's pretty much paying out 12.5%. 0.2205. You can see the share price. It's at a little bit premium, but you can also see on a 52 week average, you always want to look at this, it runs at a premium. So it's pretty close to what the average premium is. And it's about $21 a share right now. So for a thousand shares, this would be about $21,000 right now. And on a thousand shares, you know, you're going to get um, about 220 bucks it looks like a month on that in income so if i click on the three year on this one you can see not bad it's pretty flat it actually went up here during the uh the run that we had from march of 2020 all the way up so you can see this one does go up and then it's kind of pulled back with the rest of the market so i would expect this over time to eventually start going back up and even if it just makes it back to this 25, you still could get some appreciation with this. And basically just by holding it for a few months or a couple years, you also get the 12.5% uh, yield on this annually. So, you know, this is one I, I do like and I, I do look at um, as far as just collecting some cash flow from. So anyway, and then if I just click back, it takes me back here to the screener. And I can just go down through. And again, I'm, I, you know, you can't always, this is misleading. I just want to focus on this where it's either negative or positive because everybody might think, oh, wow, I want this one because it's negative and I'm getting it at a discount. But remember, look at the 52-week average and see what this thing runs and also look at the chart and see what's happening. If over five years, the net asset value and the price is dropped, um, that's not really that great of an investment. If, you know, you see it stay flat or slowly increase, to me, those are really the best. And even if you have to pay a little bit of a premium on it, sometimes it's worth paying the premium just so that it stays flat and you can just collect that monthly um, dividend income. So if I go down here, I'm just looking at some other ones, see if I see anything else that I like. Um, here's another one that's about a 12.79% and it's GOF. So if I click on that, again, fairly large market cap. This one is trading at a real uh, premium right now. You'd see 27%, but it averages about 19. So if you look at the chart over here, 
this blue line here below is the nav and the price so you can see it's always over the nav usually and then every once in a while it comes in here closer to the nav this is really the time when you want to pick this up and pick up shares is when you see a drop like this like right here if this thing would drop down back down here say to 15 or 16 you can see the share price low 52 week low was 15 that would be a good time to accumulate um, you can see the 52 week high was at 21 almost 22 a share right now it's running at about 17 and it's running over the net asset value so you know this is one that i could see though um let's see a five year so you can see how this did go back up here and then basically came back down with the pullback here in the stock market so it does kind of follow the stock market if we click on portfolio characteristics 77 percent or almost 78 is bonds and about 19 percent is stock so always look at portfolio characteristic so you know kind of what's making up um, the fund itself. And then if you want to look at distribution history, you can go here, click on that, and it shows what it's paying out every month. If you want to see when historically it started, this thing was all the way back into 07 during the financial crisis, and it continued to pay every month, even through all those you know bad times. So it's a definite steady payer. Um, you know, it's one that, you know, over five years, the net asset value has come down. But remember, they're paying out dividends also, large dividends, like 13% a year. So you would expect this to come down a little bit. Um, but then you can see how this swung up here price-wise and the difference from price to NAV. It was huge here, super high premium, like almost a, you know, 30% premium to NAV. And it just does that. It seems to run like that. But periodically, you will catch a dip where it'll dip down here and touch NAV. That's the time to load up on shares when this one comes down and, and you know hits the NAV price or gets close to NAV price. So these are all just things. I'm just trying to give you little tips on these. But uh, this is the Guggenheim Strategic Opportunity Fund. This is another good one um, that I, I think is a good monthly payer. Um, you know, PDI, um, GOF, both of those are, are good ones. Um, so that's what I look at, you know, when I'm screening. I usually, you know, look at the larger market cap um, CEFs. Not necessarily that I wouldn't pick one that's a little smaller, but I just tend to like going through the larger market cap. They seem to be a little more popular. And then I just, you know, when I see one and I'm just interested in it, I'll click on it and I'll look at what makes it up. You know, look at that portfolio characteristics, look at what it's paying out monthly, and I'm just looking at these for cash flow. So I'd buy it, hold it for a year, um, maybe get some appreciation out of it also if I hold it for a year or two, and then I just get to collect that monthly cash flow. So that's what I'm looking at in, when I'm looking at closed-end funds. So, um, you know, you can also look at the performance of these CEFs, like if I look at PDI, and I just wanted to look at, you can click on performance and you can see kind of what the NAV and price were doing on a yearly basis. Usually when there's a low year, you'll see the next year is pretty high. So, you know, that's a good thing. This year was a real, you know, bad year. It's pretty negative. So maybe possibly in the next year or two, you may see a good year in the, in the next. And then if you wanted to look at down here, kind of the 10 year performance, yeah, it's been pretty good, you know, uh, right around 10% uh, yield on a 10-year basis. You know, these averages here have gone down because you can see, you know, this has been a really bad year. So it's taken these averages down, like the three-year and the five-year. But on a, just looking at a 10-year, performance has been pretty good over 10 years. So anyway, guys, if you like this video on, you know, how to screen and how I screen for closed-end funds, um, make sure you hit that like button. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, The Money Lodge, and um, make sure to check out our website um, at themoneylodge.com and make sure to watch all of our videos. Mm -hmm.